If you're thinking of making a move to Haver de Grace, Maryland, and you have children at home under the age of 18, you probably have questions about the local schools. I'm realtor Rebecca Cole with Berkshire Hathaway Home Sell Realty, and I help people just like you buy and sell real estate and relocate to Maryland. As a realtor, fair housing laws prevent me from stating whether a school is considered to be good or bad. And after all, that's just my opinion, and we all have different experiences. What I am able to do is share recent statistics, data, and other pertinent information you need to know about the school system in Haver de Grace. And as a parent of two children attending public schools here, I have a firsthand perspective on the ins and outs of the Haver de Grace schools. I'm also going to discuss reviews from third-party websites and experiences from some of my clients who also live in the area and have children attending the public schools. Be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to give you some important resources on school zoning in Haver de Grace and Harford County, as well as tips on buying a home to be within a specific school district. So let's get to it. We're gonna start with the elementary schools and work our way up to high school. The first public school we're reviewing is Haver de Grace Elementary School. It's located at 600 South Juniata Street in the residential neighborhood on the south side of town, just a few blocks away from Tidings Park. Third-party websites give Haver de Grace Elementary School an overall grade of an A, ranking A for teachers and diversity and B for academics. Haver de Grace Elementary School has an overall above average grade in Harford County and the student to teacher ratio is 16 to one. There are currently 602 students enrolled from pre-K through fifth grade. Haver de Grace Elementary School is classified as a Title I school in Harford County. This means the school receives additional financial funding from local educational agencies due to the high number of children attending the school that come from low-income families. 50% of the students at Haver de Grace Elementary School receive a free or reduced lunch. If you're moving to the area and planning to live within the city limits, keep in mind that there is no public school bus service on the south side of Revolution Street. Buses are provided for students on the north side of Revolution and students east of Route 40, otherwise known as up on the hill. As you can imagine, there are a lot of walkers and car riders navigating the neighborhood streets at drop-off and pickup it can be very tricky getting in and out. The car rider lane can be quite long and many parents park on the neighborhood streets surrounding the school and walk up to meet their children. Although this practice is strongly discouraged by the school. It's also important to note that Haver de Grace Elementary School is a fourth tiered school in Harford County, meaning the school day starts 30 minutes later than the other elementary schools in the county and they release 30 minutes later. When I first moved to Haver de Grace years back, I was completely unaware of the tiered start time. In fact, I never heard of anything like that. So my second grader and I were all excited, me more excited than her, honestly. Uh, we're standing outside the first day of school and I couldn't figure out why we were the only ones there. So I can smile now looking back at it, but at the time I had to completely rearrange my entire work schedule to accommodate her school starting at 9.30 and getting out at four. So for working parents or parents with any other daily obligations for that matter, plan accordingly if your child is going to be attending Haver de Grace Elementary School. Thankfully, they had a before care and after care program that I was able to take advantage of when I needed it. And as of the time of this video, Haver de Grace Elementary School still offers on-site before care and after care through the YMCA of Central Maryland for a fee. The next elementary school we're going to discuss is Meadowvale, located at 910 Graceview Drive. Third-party websites give Meadowvale Elementary a B overall grade with Bs for academics and teachers. Diversity receives an A grade. There are currently 477 students enrolled from pre-K through fifth grade at Meadowvale, and 37% receive free or reduced lunch. The majority of students attending Meadowvale come from the north side of town, neighborhoods east of Route 40, and rural areas outside of the city limits. Meadowvale also offers before and after care on site through the YMCA of Central Maryland. Now it's important to note that while the school sits back from the main road on Graceview Drive, you get there via Maryland Route 155, which is notorious for speeding. 
In fact, when I first moved to Haver de Grace, I was pulled over for speeding on 155 because I thought the speed limit was 60 miles an hour because that's the speed I needed to drive without feeling like I was getting blown off the road. So cars and trucks are coming off of Interstate 95 via 155 to get to the downtown area of Haver de Grace and other neighborhoods. And there's a very sharp decline as you're getting closer to the city. It is very easy to exceed the speed limit by 20, 30 miles per hour or even more without realizing it. In terms of comparison, both Haver de Grace Elementary School and Meadowvale Elementary School have their pros and cons. And parents in the area are very passionate about both schools. I commonly have clients that are only willing to buy a house located in the Haver de Grace Elementary School zone, as well as some clients that are only willing to buy a house in the Meadowvale Elementary School zone. Both schools have active PTAs, family support and outreach that includes family nights and other events. The last elementary school on our list is Roy Williams. And this school is sometimes an afterthought to people who live in Haver de Grace because it's located right on the border of Haver de Grace and Aberdeen. And there's only a very small section of the Haver de Grace zip code that is zoned to attend Roy Williams Elementary. Now, not too long ago, Hartford County did a complete rezoning of the district. And there was a very small section of Haver de Grace on the other side of Route 40 that was considered to be zoned to go to Roy Williams Elementary. There was a massive response from the community in opposition of the rezoning. Now, I'm not here to argue one side or the other of the argument because both sides had valid points. What I'm saying rather is that in Haver de Grace, there are actually three elementary schools and Roy Williams is one of them. In fact, the address is 201 Oakington Road, Haver de Grace, Maryland. It received an overall A grade from third party websites with B's for academics and teachers and A for diversity. The student teacher ratio at Roy Williams is 12 to one, and there are currently 430 students enrolled from grades pre-K through fifth grade. And this brings us to Haver de Grace Middle School and High School. The brand new state-of-the-art building located at 445 Lewis Lane was scheduled to open its doors to students in the fall of 2020. Now, everybody knows something was going on in 2020, and the official opening was delayed to the coronavirus pandemic. It wasn't until April of 2021 when the school could officially finally welcome students on a gradual in-person schedule. Similar to Patterson Mill in Bel Air, Haver de Grace houses both middle school and high school in one building, with each grade sectioned off for its designated area accordingly. Haver de Grace Middle School is home to 625 students with a student teacher ratio of 16 to 1. 46% of students receive a free or reduced lunch. Haver de Grace High School is home to 771 students with a student to teacher ratio of 18 to 1 and 41% of students receive a reduced or free lunch. Haver de Grace High School is an information technology Oracle Academy magnet school in Hartford County. The school has a robust music department and the chamber's choir is requested to perform at events throughout Hartford County. Haver de Gracians love their competitive school sports and they have all of the expected offerings for high school from track and field to football. Last year, the Haver de Grace ladies soccer team won the state championship for the very first time with a victory over Perryville High School. Students attending Haver de Grace have the option to dual enroll with Hartford Community College and earn college credits their senior year. Just like Haver de Grace Elementary School, public school bus service is very limited within the city limits. So as you can imagine, the middle school and high school drop off and pick up lines can be very, very congested. As of the time of this video, there is currently no crossing guard assigned and no traffic assistance coming in and out of the school, despite numerous complaints from parents and residents. So if you're moving to the area and plan on driving your student to school, or if you've got a new driver in your household, allow additional time to navigate the drop off and pick up lines. Now I mentioned before the rezoning controversy that took place a couple of years ago. Like most counties and communities in, in the United States, many schools are faced with crowding and balancing issues. When it comes to determining what school your child would attend based on the address of where you plan to live, it is imperative to use the official Harford County Public School Locator. This is the only credible source to determine where your child may attend school 
and it can be found at hcps.org. And keep in mind, school district zoning is subject to change. If your home purchase is based on your child or children attending a specific school, try to stay within the boundary line and focus your home search closer to the actual school building and in the heart of the school district. If you would like more information about the schools in Havre de Grace, buying or selling or living in Maryland, my contact information is below. And if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and like or subscribe so you don't miss any of our content.